Hello and welcome inside Puckett Fieldhouse for a basketball matchup between the number 12 Central Methodist Eagles versus the Lindenwood Belleville Lynx. I'm your broadcaster Tommy Bennett tonight joined by Jerome Simpson. How are we doing Jerome? Doing well. Looking forward to this matchup between two unbeaten teams both 2-0 in the early going. Central Methodist led by head coach Mike Davis. Over 675 wins in his career. Taking on Jeff Reese and his Lynx squad. Making the trip west. Try and upset the ranked Eagles. Starting lineups quickly. For Central Methodist, number zero, Mercedes Jeff Lowe. Number 11, Cheyenne Allen. Number 22, Crimson Jones. Number 23, Lene Rodney. And number 34, Paco Preciado. And for Lindenwood, you'll see number three, Teresa Algayer. Number 15, Brianna Mueller. As is Lindenwood. And it's going to be an early jump ball. Brianna Mueller, number 15. Number 21, Sydney Kramer. Number 22, Kendra Morgan. And number 33, Ali Daka. So four minutes in, already some confusion. Looks like four seconds in. And we'll just get another jump ball. That's exciting. Never seen that before. And the Lynx take the tip. Kramer working inside. No good. Rebounded by Rodney. No points yet as Jeff Lowe goes across the court. Back out to Rodney at the top of the key. Off the glass. And Rodney gets the Eagles on the board first. 2-0 Central Methodist. Nice player to nice play to start the game there. And Jeff Lowe making an acrobatic steal. And CMU gonna stay with it here as Allen crosses half court. Still no points for Lindenwood. Preciado with it inside to Jones. Off the glass for two. Eagles up four. That'll be an early foul on Jeff Lowe, the senior from Compton, California. Her second year at CMU. Number 30, Zaria, Number 30, Zaria Valley gonna sub in. An early change for the Lynx. Oh, Geyer, the 5'6 freshman in the paint. No good again, rebounded by Rodney again. Eagles in transition. Jeff Lowe gets inside. No good. Does get her own rebound. CMU with a fresh shot clock. And it's going to be a turnover after the travel by Jones. What do you see in the first 90 seconds, Jerome? It looks like we're a lot faster than the Lynx. We're getting the ball up court. It looks like they can't handle it. it looks like the full court press they got on them. Eagles look to be a veteran squad here in the early going. Started their season with a win, last second win over Haskell a few weeks ago as Mueller in trouble but does break out of that double team. Algeyer inside, swatted away by Jeff Lowe. Looks like they're going to call a charge. Good catch, Jerome. And the Eagles still holding the Lynx scoreless. After that last second win against Haskell on... October 30th, just two days later, the Eagles top then number five, Wayland Baptist. Pretty convincing win, 98 to 91. And the Eagles have been off since then as Rodney puts up a three, no good. And the Lynx are gonna come up with the rebound. Eagles still up by four. And taken away and Jeff Lowe all alone in transition off the glass. Eagles up by six. Jeff Lowe with her first points of the night. Looks like Crimson swat, swatted that one away from her. Yeah, nice defense by Crimson Jones. Lindenwood Belleville started the season last weekend in Atchison, Kansas at a Benedictine tournament where they beat York College as CMU with more suffocating defense, and they're going to get another turnover. Nice play by Cheyenne Allen. The Lynx beat York College and the University 
of Science and Arts Oklahoma to start their season 2-0. The Lynx in the American Midwest Conference. As Crimson Jones, long two. That's her sweet spot. And the Lynx are going to call a timeout after being down 8-0 to zero early. And we'll step away here on the Eagle Sports Network. And we are back here on the Eagle Sports Network. Eagles up 8-0 to zero in the first 2 minutes and 49 seconds. Some good defense in the early going for Central Methodist. Mueller with the ball at the top of the key. Working against Cheyenne Allen. Mueller, a lot of dribbling. And no good off the glass. Crimson Jones battling for it. Gets the jump ball against Zaria Valley. And the Eagles going to get possession once again. Allen gets the ball across half court. Paco Preciado now. Back to Jeff Lowe at the top of the key. Step back jumper, no good. Rebounded there by number 21, Sidney Kramer. Lynx still looking for their first basket as Mueller off the glass draws the foul and she'll go to the line. Mueller a couple time All-American. The senior from Jackson, Missouri. First team All-Conference a season ago. Also the leading scorer in Lindenwood Belleville history. Makes the first bucket and the links on the board. Still trailing eight to one. Rodney gets the rebound off of that. Paco Preciado at the far wing. Nice no-look pass to Jones, working inside. No good, rebounded by Preciado. Allen for three. No good, rebounded by Mueller. Score is eight to one, I promise you. Looks like number 30, Zaria Valley. Checking in for the Coming Eagles. in for the Eagles, number 32, Gloria Malumba. Number 32, Gloria Malumba. Malumba, the senior from Helsinki, Finland. A long journey to CMU. Glad she's here for her final season as that first free throw is no good. Score still 8-1. to one. Malumba comes to CMU from the University of Sioux Falls, a D2 school in South Dakota. Got a lane violation on the Eagles. You get another chance here. Malumba also spent two years at Arizona Western College, where she was all conference and all region. The Eagles now lead eight to two. Rodney over to Jeff Lowe here on the near wing. Malumba inside. Nice pass out. And it's going to be a turnover as it goes out of bounds. Just about halfway through the first quarter here in Fayette, Missouri, inside Puckett Fieldhouse as the Lynx, another turnover. And we're going to get a sub here. Ashley Martin coming in. Coming in 
Mets from New York. Jeff Flo, nice little crossover. Wide open. Paco Preciado for three. No good. Jeff Flo goes up and gets the rebound. Short jumper. No good. And the Lynx come up with it. Looking to capitalize here. Running the floor is Mueller. Inside to Valley. Taken away by Preciado, and she's going up the court. Nice pass to Ashley Martin. They're settling back down. Malumba, no good. A force in the paint. After getting two rebounds, she will get fouled, and she'll go to the line. Malumba had some nice height to the Eagles squad here, the 6'1 senior. Eagles still up by six. Low scoring affair here in the early going. No good on the first free throw. Malumba on the board. Eagles up nine to two. Al Geyer across half court working on Jeff Flo. No made field goals for the Lynx so far. Eagles defense suffocating. Nice play there for Valley. She'll get a bucket and is going to the line for a free throw. Three-point play for the Lynx, and they cut the lead to four as Jeff Lowe's playing with two fouls here in the first quarter. Paco Preciado for three. No good. Malumba inside. Gets the rebound as the clock resets. Jeff Lowe for three. No good. Another possession here for the Eagles. Martin inside to Malumba. No foul called. Eagles still with possession. Jeff Lowe. And then Martin for three. No good. And the Lynx get it on that rebound. Al Geyer nicely done to the rack. Cuts the lead to two. Quick little 5 nothing run with just under four minutes left to play here. And Lene Rodney for three. No good. Once again, the Eagles... Struggling from three-point range, 0 for 6 here in the early going. For three for the Lynx, and they get it. Kendra Morgan for three gives the Lynx a one-point lead. Eagles settling back down as Jeff Lowe walks across half court. A bucket here would be huge to get back on the positive momentum. Preciado, and a travel called. A couple subs here for the Eagles. Number 11, Cheyenne Allen, and number 25, Deja Eli, subbing in for Paco Preciado and Mercedes Jefflo. Eli, the junior from Indianapolis, and Allen, who started the game, the senior from Long Beach, California. In the corner for three, no good. And the Eagles get the rebound. Nice play by Eli. Lene Rodney across half court. Martin inside to Malumba. And the Eagles get on the board. Nice play there to get some momentum back. William Malumba now with for three points, excuse me. Eagles up by one. Valley no good. And Ashley Martin with the rebound. Working inside. No good. Rebounded by Eli. And CMU retains possession. Rodney, nice little Euro step. And the Eagles up by three. Four points for Lene Rodney. That seems to be their bread and butter here, getting to the inside where they have a little bit more size than the Lynx do, but 
To no avail there. Number 22, Kinder Morgan, cuts the lead back to one. Eli for three, no good. Ninety seconds left here in the first quarter of play. As Malumba and Eli working on Mueller. She goes right around, wide open at the basket, but goes in and out, and TMU gets the rebound. Eagles up by one. Ashley Martin on the far wing. Nice bounce pass inside to Malumbo with the mismatch. No good. Gets another rebound. Misses the second one, too. And no points on that possession for the Eagles. Inside one minute. Eagles up by one. Nice block by Allen. And she's running in transition. Full head of steam, and she'll draw a foul. Nice play there for Cheyenne Allen. Number 22, Crimson Jones, and number 21, Nat Spiegel coming in, and a couple subs for Lindenwood as well. Looks like number 12, Marisol Chavez. As Allen rattles around the rim to start. And number 5, Macy Smith, also in for Lindenwood. 45 seconds left, Eagles holding on to a one-point lead. Allen, her first point of the night. And that Eagle defense swarming once again and can't come up with it. As the Lynx will get a side out here. Taken away by Eli. Nice pass inside to Allen. Great defense, turning into offense for CMU as the Eagles lead by four. 30 seconds left here in the first quarter. Eagles up 16 to 12. Inside to Mueller, swatted away by Eli. Allen running the floor. Back out to Spiegel. 15 seconds left. Shot clock is off. Jones thought about it, goes inside. Short jumper, no good. And the Lynx come up with it. Five seconds left. Let's see if they get a shot here. Swatted away by Jones. Block party in Fayette for Crimson Jones as the Eagles lead by four after one. We'll step away here on the Eagle Sports Network. Eagles steal the ball, but we get a 
foul. Maybe on Pence and Jones. Looks like it might have been an offensive foul. Did she throw an elbow or something? Not Looks sure. Like offensive foul there would be on Lennon Wood number three. The rest of the hazard, right? The shot by number four goes up. No good. Rebounded by the Eagles. Picks it up to Cheyenne Allen. Over in the middle. Pearson Jones for three. No good. Rebounded by the Lynx. Lynx bringing it up the court. Slow it down. Eagles trapping. Swing it to the other side. Eagles looking to set up the press. No good. They kick it inside. No good on the shot. Eagles got the rebound. Trying now and bringing it up the court. Drives into the paint. It's a layup. It's good for two. Eagles will go up 20 to 12. 827 left to play here in the second quarter. Shot fake on number five as she drives in. It'll be Eagles ball as she fumbles it around. Bring it up. Number 25, swings over to Cheyenne Allen. Up to Pinson as she drives in. Looks like she had it knocked away and we'll have a jump ball. Pinson and Coming in for the Eagles, number 34, Paco, and number 10, Taylor Victorine. Checking in for the Eagles is number 10, Taylor Victorine. Number 34, Paco Pistano. A little bad pass, but the Eagles will keep it. On the drive, makes a kick it inside. It's fallen by the Lynx. And 15, Brianna Mueller bringing it up for the Links. Green set as she's trying to go outside. Eagles looking to set the trap. Drive by number 12. Shot is good. Two points for the Links. Paco Preciado bringing it up the court. Foul's going to be on the ground. Gloria Malumba subbing in. The Eagles going to get the ball on the baseline. Victorine, long pass out to Eli. Thought about a three, stepped back again. Eagles still looking for their first three-pointer of the night. As the Lynx bring it across half court. Nice play there for number 24, Ashley Micken. As the Lynx cut. Nat Spiegel with it over to Paco. Jeff Reese not happy about that one. Looks like we got a coach warning. Shot big. 
Into the post. Ball's knocked away. Papa's got it. Coming up the court. Shoots a three. No good. Our Eagles are still looking for the first three on the night. Coming in for the Eagles, number 11, Cheyenne Allen. Checking in for the Eagles is number 11, Cheyenne Allen. Cheyenne's got five points on the night. As the Eagles are in a full court press here, Taylor Victorine's man on man on number 15, for Lindenwood. She tries to get around Taylor. Taylor's not letting her very well. Screen set, kicks it out to the corner. On the drive, no good. Lindenwood's gonna keep the ball. Three pointer. That's what you look for in someone coming off the bench. The hot hand, getting the links right back in this game, giving them their first lead. Effort there by Rodney with the long bounce pass, but Cheyenne Allen just a step ahead of herself there, stumbling under the basket. By Jeff Lowe there. Jeff Lowe drawing the attention of the Lynx and then a nice pass underneath to Malumba. But then nice response there for Lindenwood. Again. 
Pretty anticlimactic end of the half there. Yes, it was. No good shot attempt for either team. It looks like the Lynx will get a couple buckets to go into the half with momentum. First shot is good. First is good. Shooting for the Lynx is number 21, Sydney Kramer. That shot's no good.
Welcome back inside Puckett Fieldhouse for the second half of action between Central Methodist and Lindenwood Belleville. I'm your broadcaster, Tommy Bennett, alongside Jerome Simpson. Eagles leading this one 32 to 28 after the break. What is your first impression after the first half of play? What did you see? I would agree with that. The Eagles 0 for 11 from three-point range and then shooting just 35% as a team field goal percentage. While Lindenwood made four three-pointers, including three by Ashley McCann off the bench to keep the links in the game. Leading scorers for Lindenwood, number 24, Ashley McCann with nine, and number 22, Kendra Morgan with five. While the Eagles had leading scorer Lene Rodney with eight. As the Lynx put up a shot there. No good for number 21, Sidney Kramer, as the Eagles pick up a rebound. And now Allen inside to Jones, taken away by Brianna Mueller. Leading scorers for CMU as they get a rebound there from Crimson Jones. Lene Rodney with eight, Cheyenne Allen with seven, Gloria Malumbo with seven off the bench. As Allen off the glass, no good. As Crimson Jones comes up with it. Stays with the Eagles. And the shot clock's at 16. Cheyenne with Allen with seven. And Crimson Jones with six. Malumbo with six rebounds. Rodney with five. And Allen with five. And Mercedes Sheflo playing well on defense with three steals. Crimson Jones gets it to fall as she will get an and one here. Jones, the senior from Flora, Illinois, attended D1 University of Evansville. Her sophomore year, she gets the end one. Third team all-conference last season, ranking third on the team in scoring with 10 points a game and nearly f over five rebounds a game. As the Lynx in control here, trailing by seven. Looking for their first points of the half. Mueller working on Rodney. Gets to the hole, but no good as Rodney gets another rebound. Allen across half court. Back out to Rodney. Pump fake, working inside. Going to get called for the charge. A little too aggressive in the paint. Her second foul of the afternoon. The evening, rather. Macy Smith checking in for Lindenwood. Taken away by Jeff Lowe. Working one-on-one, -on -one. nice pump fake. Off the glass for two, she's got six points now. Great on both ends of the floor is Jeff Lowe. The Eagles lucky to have her back in white and green for her senior year. Mishandled on the dribble by Mueller as Paco Preciado. Nice pass to Allen. Off the glass for two. Eagles up by 11. And we're going to step away after that timeout. CMU up by 11 here on the Eagles Sports Network.
Back inside Puckett where the Eagles on a 7 nothing run to open the half. Wonder what Mike Davis had to say in the locker room. Good pep talk as the Eagles looking good right out of the break. Mixing that great defense and making a couple shots here and getting to the line for free throws. They only shot four in the first half. Shot clock inside five. Long three, not even in the same zip code as the basket. And the Eagles gonna get the ball back after the ball goes out of bounds. Allen, Rodney, Preciado, Jones, and Jefflo, the same starting five. Out there on the court now. A lot of shooters on the floor as Jefflo. No good from long range. The Eagles still on the quest for that first three-pointer. CMU still up by 11 as the Lynx looking for their first bucket of the second half. And it comes courtesy number 30, Zaria Valley. Six points on the evening for the senior from St. Charles. Preciado rocket inside to Jones. Two points for Crimson. Eagles up by 11 once again as Crimson Jones now the leading scorer with 11 points for CMU. Preciado bites a little hard there as the links work inside but can't get the bucket to fall. Preciado to Jefflo in the corner. Still no good. Eagles up by 11, though, despite their shooting struggles. Going to go out on Rodney as she's pleading her case. Is Ashley Martin going to check in for CMU? Replacing Paco Preciado. Martin, the senior from New York, spent a couple years at D1 Iona College before coming to Fayette to finish her college career. Jones working on Mueller. Clock inside five on the shot. And they get the shot off with one second left. And it's going to drop for number 22, Kendra Morgan. Seven points for Morgan. Jefflo. Nice intermediate two-pointer there. Mid-range jumper falls. Is she now up to eight points? Looks like fundamental defense to me in the paint, but... Going to be called for a push as Mueller going to go to the line. Gloria Malumba checking in for her first minutes of the second half as Ashley McCann joins her for the Lynx. Mueller good on the first one. Leading scorer in Lindenwood Belleville history has five points tonight. Eagles up by nine, halfway through the third quarter. Alumba inside, nice pass out to Jones. Thought about a shot, nifty bounce pass around the defender. Malumba dishes out to Jefflo. Shot clock inside 15. Jefflo, bank shot, banks closed after five. As the Lindenwood Belleville gonna get the best, get the ball back. <laughs> Eagles still up nine, looking good here in the early going. Ranked number 12 in the country, finished last season 20 and 12, third in the conference, 
narrowly missing out on a fourth straight trip to the national tournament as Cheyenne Allen gets the ball on the rebound. Inside, off the glass, no good. Malumba fighting for it, but Lindenwood going to come up with it. And the Lynx going to call a timeout as 4.07 left here inside Puckett Fieldhouse. We will step away here on the Eagle Sports Network. We're back, 4.07 left here in the third quarter of action. Eagles up 43 to 34. The defense swarming once again. Another timeout. The Eagles swarm there and we'll step away once again. Not a whole lot has changed since the last commercial break. Eagles still up 43 to 34. But Lindenwood Belleville using up almost all of their timeouts. Looking for any sort of momentum to come back. Shot clock at 13, game clock 358 as the Lynx might wish they had those timeouts in about 45 minutes. Martin, great defense, two on one. Just does it all herself, no good, gets her own rebound. Jeff Lowe. Not sure what the call was, did you catch that? Sideline getting a little too hype. And it might have been the shot clock was a little off too, but I wouldn't stop it in the middle of a three-point jumper. That would have been the first three-pointer of the night for CMU. Good defense by Lindenwood inside on Malumba as they get the ball back. Mueller across half court. For three, McCann. Off the glass. Nice shot for McCann. Four three-pointers. Great performance off the bench for the sophomore. Inside for Eli. No good. Able to get it back in play, but not able to find an eagle player. And Lindenwood going to get it back. That might be a foul. Eli, Martin, Allen, Jefflo, Malumba is the five on the floor at the moment. Inside three minutes left, Eagles up by six. Lindenwood looking to get back into the game after a slow start to the second half. Mueller inside, draws contact, so go to the line once again. The 
first foul on Malumba. Is Lene Rodney going to check back in? Lene Rodney spent last season at North Carolina Central, a D1 school, just up the road from Duke University. Also was a star at Monroe Community College, where she was the region player of the year. Rodney also led the squad to a national, term, national championship as Allen thought about a three-pointer. Back out to Eli, inside to Martin. Good ball movement, but the Eagles can't get a bucket as Lindenwood with the chance to cut this game to one possession. Mueller, lefty, Eagles up by two. Mueller doing it all herself with nine points now. Jefflo off the glass, gets it back to four. Eagles going to take a timeout, try to get the troops rallied back together. And we'll step away, too, on the Eagle Sports Network. Good response there by Jeff Lowe and the CMU squad after giving up seven straight points, I believe, to get a bucket there, and they're now pressing all the way, looking to create another turnover. Almost stepped out of bounds as they do get across inside 10. Off the ref, some pinball. Three-point attempt for the Lynx, and they get it. Nice shot there by number five, Macy Smith. Cut the lead down to one. A basket here would be great for CMU. And in this quarter, with some momentum, Eli. Gonna be a backcourt violation and a turnover on CMU. And Lindenwood Belleville with a chance to take the lead. Last led in the first quarter, I believe. Three minutes and 22 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Not what you want to see if you're Jeff Reese. Turnover with a chance to get the lead back. And CMU still ahead by one. Rodney on the far wing. Eli gets it to fall. Her first points of the night. Eagles up by three. One minute remaining here in the third quarter. CMU up 47 to 44. Out to McCann. No good, but a great pass turned out to be to number 21, Sidney Kramer. 40 seconds left here in the third quarter. Eagles up by one. Rodney for three. Got it! Lene Rodney, the first three pointer for CMU after missing the first. 14, and a steal. Rodney gonna settle back down. Eagles up by four, shot clock is off. One more bucket here, and the Eagles will lead by six. Nice shot there for Lene Rodney. She's got 11 points, reaching double digits. Jeff Lowe for three, no good. One second left, and no shot attempt. As the Eagles will head into the fourth quarter with a four-point lead here on the Eagle Sports Network.
We're back inside Puckett Fieldhouse for the fourth quarter. Eagles up by four. What did you see there in the third quarter, Jerome? Jeff Flo for three, no good. The Eagles defense has really been the story of the game to me, just relentlessly making them uncomfortable. Victorine and Jeff Flo, two on one. Victorine gets a bucket. Her first points of the afternoon slash evening, I keep messing that up. It is evening, I swear. Daylight savings time is messing me up. Victorine up by, has the Eagles up by six. Mueller. No good. Rodney gets the rebound. Eagles looking good to start this fourth quarter. Victorine, Jeff Lowe, Rodney, Jones, and Allen. Victorine for three. No good. Crimson Jones right there. Nice bank shot from the, from the block there. Eagles up by eight. A veteran group of players here on the court is four of the five have been here. We're on the squad last year. Have some chemistry. Rodney working inside on Zaria Valley. And a charge called. Great play by Lene Rodney. Eagles still up by eight. Zaria Valley with three fouls. Coming in for the elite, number 21, Sydney Kramer. Sydney Kramer checking in. Yeah, you. Anything like that is just a killer for the momentum, and Lindenwood Belleville needs everything they can get here after a rough start to the fourth quarter. Jeff Lowe, floater! Gets it to fall, Eagles up by 10. Jeff Lowe with 12 points. A well-balanced attack today for the Eagles. And Jeff Lowe with another steal to Jones inside. Eagles up by 12! Jeff Reese with just one time out. Not a whole lot he can do from the sideline. Mueller breaks the press for a second. And CMU with the ball. And basket no good for Lindenwood Belleville. The wheels might be coming off. Allen working in the near corner. Back to Jeff Lowe. Rodney for three. Nice follow through, but once again, no good. Eagles just one of 18 from long range, yet they still lead by 12 thanks to this suffocating defense. And a foul called as Mueller had nowhere to turn. Eagles with three players in double digits and one at nine and one at seven. Nice dispersion of points. That's what you like to see if you're Mike Davis. No, con no foul called on the contact on Crimson Jones. A shot clock inside 10. Another foul called on Crimson Jones. And she might be headed to the bench. Couple ticky tack fouls, in my opinion, and now she has four fouls and might not be back on the floor for a while. Malumba, check it in for CMU. Jones heads to the bench as the leading scorer with 15 points on 7 of 11 shooting as Mueller works inside. No good. Nice rebound by Rodney. 
slip and slide on the that half of the floor and CMU stays with it. Jeff Lowe. Nifty pass to Rodney. No good, but a foul called. Eagles looking good here in the beginning of the fourth quarter. Just the sixth free throw attempt for CMU as Rodney gets the first one to go. He goes up by 13. No good on the second. As Rodney now with 12 points with 6.30 left here in the fourth quarter. Another steal. Rodney finds Jeff Lowe. Oh boy. Some contact there. contact there after the steal but no fouls called on the contact there and CMU gonna get the ball at the baseline referees discussing something here And we're going to step away, too, as they look at the replay here on the Eagle Sports Network. So the referee's looking to see if we might have a flagrant or a technical after that steal and pass by Rodney. I just saw a little bit of contact. I don't know if there was anything too major. Then a, some words were exchanged, but I don't know if it escalated any more than that. So we'll see. They're looking at the replay now to maybe dole out a technical or flagrant, but we'll see. We'll try to keep you updated. 6.14 left, Eagles up 59-46. to 46. Lindenwood Belleville basically getting a timeout here to catch their breath. And Great start to the fourth quarter here.
A busy week on deck for the Eagle Sports Network. Tomorrow there'll be three games. You'll see the number one Central Methodist men's soccer team taking on Baker in a rematch of a physical battle earlier in the season in the Hart semifinals. That'll start at 1 o'clock. At 3.30, you'll see the number five CMU women's soccer team taking on Evangel. And then at 6.30 in Puckett Fieldhouse, it'll be Central Methodist, ranked number 15, taking on Clark University at the Hart semifinal as well. If all three teams win, the men's soccer team and women's soccer team guaranteed to host this weekend. CMU Volleyball will need a couple things to fall their way on the other half of the bracket. Otherwise, they could be headed north to Iowa. Referees discussing with both coaches. Central Methodist football with an impressive win last week, beating number nine Evangel 42 to seven. Jordan Williams, the quarterback named National Player of the Week just yesterday after throwing for six touchdowns and almost 300 yards of total offense. I think I might have an update on what's being called on the floor. Looks like an intentional foul on Lene Rodney. Is the Link's going to take a couple free throws here. Rodney still in the game as Mueller knocks down both. Their first points of the fourth quarter. Nice basket there for Lindenwood Belleville by number 12, that is Marisol Chavez. Cuts the lead to nine. Timeout, that non-timeout timeout, doing wonders for Lindenwood Belleville as they get a charge called and they'll get the ball back once again. Trailing by nine, looking to cut into this deficit here in the fourth quarter inside Puckett Fieldhouse. Short jumper for Mueller. Cuts the lead to seven. Mueller with 13 points, making her presence felt. Jefflo, off the glass, no good. Rebounded by Lindenwood, Marisol Chavez. And Lindenwood Belleville with a chance to cut this to a two possession game. Chavez all alone, no look pass for three. No good, CMU gets the rebound. Missed by Sidney Kramer there is Jefflo. Nifty play off the glass. Jefflo gets lead back to nine and Mike Davis will call a timeout and we'll step away too here on the Eagle Sports Network. Exciting couple minutes here in the past. Got the 
Their final timeout. We'll see if they can do anything with it as we come back here on the Eagles Sports Network. Look clean to me, Jerome. Number five at the line, that's Macy Smith. Great response here by the Eagles after the lead got trimmed all the way to seven. This is what good teams do. They put teams away. Second free throw's good. Second free throw's good as Sage Dresco brings it up to four pretty quick, looking to set something up. Gives it a transition to Mount and then Nat, as we're going to have a jump ball. Here with 4.02 left here to play in the fourth quarter. Ball's going to stay at the Eagles. Victory will down it. Kicks it out to Rodney. Rodney for three. It is good. Three. 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 Looks like a whole host of Eagles. Just a team effort all around tonight. Just absolutely dominant on the defensive side of the ball. Inbound the ball over to the Eagles sideline. Number 21, Nat Spiegel. Eagles with 21 steals to just four for Lindenwood Belleville. I think that's the tale of the tape tonight. Bye-bye. 
Back in here to the corner, the shot, no good. Rebounded by Mercedes as she brings it up the court. Drives to the hole, bucket's no good. Rebounded by Rodney. Shot goes up and it is good and draws a man one. God bold. God bold, I'm sorry. Number 11, Cheyenne Allen. Rodney been really impressive tonight. 20 points and 10 rebounds. Double double for Rodney in her third game at CMU. A very welcome addition to the team. I think that pass was intended for me up here. It was coming right on this line. The defense just relentless. Emptying the bench in these final two and a half minutes. Get some good game action for Eagles led 50 to 46 after the third quarter, and they've gone on a 29 to 9 run, if I'm doing my math right. Very impressive way to finish the game for CMU. It'll be a fun season inside Puckett for the women's basketball team. I'm looking forward to it. I think it's a double bonus, and the women's basketball, after 5,000 a quarter, they automatically shoot two, slightly different than the men's rule. Looks like the team's favorite player just scored there. 
Nice to see Naylor find the bottom of the net. Another foul called. I missed that one. Great to see that. Lauren Godbold works with us in the athletic department. Love to see one of our own score on the big stage. Taking a quick look ahead at the schedule, they'll play a couple of conference games in a row. Grandview, Clark, Graceland, Evangel, all before Thanksgiving, and then they'll have scattered in a few more non-conference games. But after three non-conference games, it's good to see the Eagles rounding into a form, it looks like, against what looked to be a decent opponent on paper with some solid pieces in Lindenwood Belleville. Great win for the Eagles, led by Crimson Jones and Lene Rodney with 21 points, and then Jeff Lowe with 17, and a couple others with great performances as well. And again, we'll see you next time. The Eagles won't be back home until November 23rd against Graceland. That'll be a busy day in Fayette. Thanks for joining us. I'm your broadcaster, Tommy Bennett, alongside Jerome Simpson. We'll see you next time on the Eagle Sports Network.